Everybody say he fire. Fire. Shut up, in my home. Like Jeremiah. Like Jeremiah. Won't leave me here alone. Shut up, Ben. Shut up, Ben. Like Jeremiah. Like Jeremiah. Oh, won't leave me alone.
Good morning, good morning, church. Sunday, we thank God for another Sunday to come and bless his name, to come and praise his name. Thank God for letting us be in the building today. Come on and make some noise. Hey, come on and make some noise. We thank God for letting us be in the building today. God has given us the opportunity to come and bless his name inside of the church. In our virtual land, come on and praise God. Let's thank God for all that he has done. He gave us another day. Come on. He gave us another day. We thank you. Hey, come on. We thank you, Jesus. Come on. Come on. We thank you, Jesus. Hey. We thank you, Jesus. I feel like praising, praising him. I feel like praising, praising him. Come on. Praise him in the morning. Oh Lord, praise him all day long. I feel hey like praising, praising him. I feel like praising, praising him. Oh, I feel yeah, hey like praising, praising him. Oh, praise him in the morning. Woo. Praise him all day long. I feel. Like praising, praising him. One more time. I feel like praising, praising him. Oh, I feel. Anybody want to praise him this morning? Praise him, praise him. Oh, Lord. Praise him in the morning. Hey. Praise him all day long. Hey. I feel. Yeah. Like praising, praising him for the Jesus. I feel like praising, praising him. Anybody want to praise him this morning? Hey, come on. I feel hey, like praising, praising him. Oh, hey, anybody want to praise him this morning? Woo, hey. Cause he's been so good. Hey, I feel like praising him. Hey, cause he brought me a mighty long way. <laughs> it was a whole year. Hey, I was stuck in the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I couldn't come out. <laughs> but Lord, said shout out. Hey, and I got the opportunity. Hey, to praise your name. <laughs> I'm gonna give it all to you. Hey, I'm gonna give it all to you. Hey, I'm gonna give it all to you. <laughs> Give it all to you. <laughs> I'm gonna give it all to you. Praise his name. Hey, lift your hands all around the room. Hey, praise his name. Woo! Praise his name. Praise his name. <laughs> praise his name. Praise his name. Hey, got to give it all to you. Hey, hey, got to give it all to you. Hey, got to give it all to you. Hey, got to give it all to you. Got to give it all. Got to give it all. Hey, got to give it all to you. Somebody ought to scream yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. I don't know what y'all came to do today, but I came to praise his name. Because <laughs> you've been so good to me. Hey, <laughs> you've been real good to me. Praise his name. Oh, 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 oh Lord. Praise his name. Everybody clap your hands. Come on, I know we all know this one. Clap your hands. Oh, you fight on. Oh, you fight on. Yeah, you fight on. Sword in your hand. Go. 
everybody keep fighting on. Oh, you fight on. Oh, you fight on. Oh, oh. Everybody got your hands to keep on fighting. Oh, oh, oh Lord, keep your sword in your hand. You gotta keep fighting on. I'm starting with a chilly and cold. Till my body, but not my soul. I'll keep your sword in your hand. You gotta keep fighting on. Oh, you fight on. Yes, sir, you fight on. Oh, keep your oh, yeah, yeah. Keep sword in your hand. You got to keep fighting on. Oh, I went to the valley one day to pray. So God happy, I stayed there all day. Oh, keep your oh, sword. You got to keep fighting on. Oh, you fight on. Oh, you fight on. Oh, yes, sir. You fight on. Oh, you fight on. Oh, keep your. Oh, oh, keep your. Oh, keep your. Oh, keep your. Oh, keep your. You gotta keep fighting on. You can't give up now. You can't give up now. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. I said you gotta keep going. You can't give up now. You can't give up now. You can't give up now. Everybody clap your hands. Service this morning. Amen. I'm grateful to see you. 
I'm grateful to be here. 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 I'm trying to move on, but I'm grateful. Really grateful. Amen. Amen. This morning we're praying for our following, the following. Sister Kim Richards, Shirley Dye, Donald and Victoria Thomas, Mother Chubbs, Mother Fleming, Mother Cannon, Mother Watson, and her daughter. We're praying today for Mother Clay, for Mother Graham, Maddie Hamer, William, and the Seals family. We're praying for Mother Barley and family. We're praying for the niece of Mother Caston, Ernestine Lucas. We're praying for Sister Sisters, the sister of Deacon Thomas and Deborah Barnes, Lucy, Texas. We're praying for Tawana Jones and family. We're praying for the family of Deacon Williams. We're praying for the family of Deacon McIntosh. We're praying this morning for the family of Deacon Bingham. We're praying for Brother Leroy, Leron Watkins in the passing of his grandmother. We're praying for the sons of the house, Dr. Roberts and his family. Dr. David Seymour and his family. Dr. Dwayne Cook and his family. Pastor Walter Barnes and his family. Pastor Stanley Miller and his family. Pastor Royce Thomas and his family. We're praying for Reverend Charles Wallace, Reverend Ballard, Reverend Scott, Reverend Taylor, Reverend Smith, and Reverend Baker and their entire families. We're also praying for our first family, Reverend Dr. Carcero Barnes III, Amen. And his lovely wife. Amen. Sister Maddie Barnes. Amen. Our scripture this morning just simply says in Psalms 150 and 6, it just says, let everything, let everything, 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 everything that have breath, everything that can breathe, everything that can walk. Everything that can talk, let us praise the Lord. Praise you, the Lord, amen. Praise you, the Lord. Let us pray. Most gracious, Heavenly Father, Lord, we come telling you thank you this morning. Thank you for waking us up. Thank you for starting us on your way. Thank you, God, for giving us the activities of our life. Thank you, God, for bringing us in this house one more time. We thank you this morning, God, because you've been a good God to us. You've been a great God to us. You've been a kind God to us. You've been a miracle-working God. Yes, God. And we come this morning to give your name to praise. Now, God, as we go on in this service, oh God, we ask, oh God, that you bind every spirit that's not like you. Loose us from our chains of wickedness. In the name of Jesus, oh God. And just have your way in this service, oh God. Have your way like never before. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, oh, keep your soul Oh, keep your Oh, keep your Oh, keep your Oh, keep your Oh, Lord, oh, keep your Oh, keep your oh, oh, Lord. Oh, keep your oh, Lord. You fight, you fight, oh, 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 you I can make it without you, Jesus. I said I got to keep going. I said I got to keep going. I got to keep going. I got to keep going. Everybody clap your hands. Oh yeah. Oh keep on fighting. Oh keep on fighting. Oh keep on fighting. Oh Oh, keep on fighting. Oh, you can't give up now. Oh, Cry your last tear. Oh, Everything's gonna be alright. Oh, Everything's gonna be alright. Oh, 
You got to keep going. I said you got to keep going. You got to keep going. Oh, everybody clap your hands.
Real quick, can we just lift our hands all around this room? Come on, we made it, hey. <laughs> we made it, hey. We made it, come on, lift your hands all around this room. Lift your hands all around this room, close your eyes, and just tell God thank you. Come on, thank you Jesus for letting me make it another day. Hey, come on, thank you Jesus, hey. Thank you, Jesus. Nobody but God could have did that thing. Hey, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Yeah. I got so much to thank God for. So many wonderful blessings and so many open doors of brand new mercy along with each new day. That's why I praise you for this I give you, give you praise. Oh, Lord. For waking me up this morning. That's why I praise you. Starting me on my way. That's why I praise oh, you. For letting me see the sunshine. That's why Woo. I praise you. Of a brand new day. Oh, I want to thank you. That's why I praise you. For the blessings you give it to me each day. That's why I praise you. That's why I praise you and for this oh, 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 give you praise. Lord, good Jehovah Jireh. That's why I praise you. You've been my provider. That's why I praise you. Oh, so many times you've been my knees. So many times you rescue me. Yeah. I want to thank you yeah. for the blessings you give it to me. That's why I praise you. That's why I praise you. And for oh, I, I give you praise. Lord. For every mountain, for every mountain you, you brought me over. You brought me over. For, every trial, for every trial, you see me through. For every blessing, hallelujah. Worthy is yet. Hey, you. Lord, I give you praise. Every mountain, you brought me over. You brought me over. Hey, you You see me do. Yeah, yeah. Woo! I give you Hey, you Every 
I can lift my hands this morning to say hallelujah. Oh, oh, I yeah. I give you praise. Put your hands all around the room and praise the Lord. Come on. Thank you, Jesus, for all you've done for me. Hey, I made it. Hey, I made it. Woo! I made it. Ah, I made it. Ah, I made it. Ah, I made it. Forever. He bounced it. You brought me over and over again. Hey, you brought me over and over again. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I did it, you prayed. Hey, hey, forever we mounted. Forever we mounted. You brought me over. You brought me over. Forever we tried. You see me through. You see me through. Oh, every blessing, oh, every oh, blessing. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. For this, I, I, this, for this, for this, for this. Give you praise for all the this you've done for me. I give it to you for all this. I give it to you for all that you've done for me. I give it to you for the many ways you made for me. I give it to you. I give you praise. Somebody, I'll open up your mouth this morning. Come on, come on. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Hey. Thank you, Lord. Woo! For every mountain. Woo! You brought me over. For every trial. You will see me through. For every blessing, hallelujah, hallelujah, for this I give all, give you praise. Come on, praise his name all around the room this morning. Come on, he's been so good, he's been so good. He's been so good. He's been so good. Hey, so good. So good. Well, has he been good to you? <laughs> Has he been good to you? Listen, if he brought you all the way, just look at your neighbor and tell him he brought me all the way. Ah, 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 ah. Woo! Oh, ah, 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 ah. God did it. Thank you, First Lady. God did it. God did it. God did it. God did it. I got say God, I got God did it. If you know he did it, just look down your row and tell three people God did it. God did it. God did it. I got God did it. God did it. Oh. Yeah. Woo. Hey, bless you. I got yeah. Listen. Let me, let me just show you what God did. That this week, this week, two of our members were caught in a shooting.
the bullets went over both of their head and missed them and they're here to, oh yeah, God, they're here today to let you know that God is still doing it. Oh God, help me y'all. And find you three more people and tell them, look at me. God did it, God did it. God did it, God did it. God did it, God yeah, yeah. God did it, God did it. God did it, my shit of all. God did it, God did it. 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 God did it. Oh, hey, go ahead. All right. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Ah, hey, 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 hey. Oh, 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 oh. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. Woo! Yep, God did it. God did it. Listen, hold it, Aunt, hold it, listen. We, we got some coronavirus survivors in this room today. Caught the virus and look at them now, they jumping, they're leaping, they're praising God. Listen, if y'all don't mind, y'all go to thanking God for the survivors. And look at somebody and tell them, I'm a survivor, I'm a survivor, I'm a survivor, I'm a survivor. Bless you. Bless you today. Uh, listen, anybody glad you made it? Uh, when we say often in the church, after all I've been through, I thank God I still got my joy. Can I prophesy and tell you that better, uh oh, better is on the way? If you don't mind, just talk to your neighbor and tell them, better is on the way, better is on the way, better is on the way. Yeah. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Bless you. Bless you today. Listen, I'm so happy to see all of you all this morning. Certainly we give God all the glory, the praise, and the honor. He's brought us back together again. 
and certainly he deserves all the praise and and the glory. John, 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 the Gospel of John, the Gospel of John, chapter four. Uh huh. Gospel of John, chapter four. Woo! Ah yeah. John chapter four. Verse verse forty nine. John 4 and 49. Listen, you all, we, we haven't been able to do this since March 16th. <laughs> and look at us now. The Lord has still given us another chance to praise his name. Just, just talk to your neighbor and tell him it's nobody like the Lord. Nobody, nobody, nobody like him, nobody. Nobody like him. John chapter 4, verse 49. Listen as you find it and stand for the reading of God's word. Listen, can I just tell you today, it's a blessing. <laughs> to be in service. Oh, 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 oh. oh, 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 oh. One more time. <laughs> yeah. It's a blessing oh. to be in session. Lord, one more time. I, I, I could have been dead, sleeping in my grave. Oh, but the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, He made death behave. Woo! It's a blessing. I, to be in service, Lord, Lord, one more, one more time. John, John chapter 4, John chapter 4, beginning at verse 49, the word of God for the people of God says, the King James Version says, the nobleman said unto him, sir, Come down ere my child die. Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy son liveth. And the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken unto him. And he went his way. And as he was now going down, his servants met him and told him, saying, thy son liveth. That's the King James Version. The Amplified Version says it like this. The royal official pleaded with him, sir, do come down at once before my child dies. Jesus said unto him, go, your son lives. The man believed what Jesus said to him and started home. As he was already going down the road, his servants met him and reported that his son was living and was healthy. For these few moments we have to share today, I want to talk from the subject, an urgent response to an urgent request. An urgent response to an urgent request requests gracious lord how we thank you today for god thank you thank you thank you thank you we made it back to the sanctuary mm. thank you today now god we pray blessings on all under the sound of my voice today Mm, thank you. 
those who are present, those who are sharing over Facebook Live, thank you. You've been good to us. You brought us all the way. <laughs> and we give you the glory today. We give you the honor. We give you the praise. Now, God, today again we ask you to open thou mine eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. I'm yours, Lord. I'm yours, Lord. You kept me through the pandemic, and I'm still yours. Now, God, I ask you if you will, keep us now. Open thou mine eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. An urgent response to an urgent request. My, my brothers and sisters, as we gather back together to give God the praise, the glory, and the honor, as we continue to stand on the promise of it shall be done in 2021, this our year of healing. Today, as we look at this miracle, we see Jesus now has traveled back to Galilee where he meets a father whose son is ill. This is the second miracle that Jesus did in the Galilean area. The first miracle was the wedding feast at Cana. This was a time of festivity and joy. The second miracle that we want to look at today is associated with sickness and is a time of anxiety and sorrow. Well, when Jesus turned the water into wine, it was a miracle of time. Uh, then we look at our miracle today. It was a miracle of space because Jesus heals this boy from 20 miles away. Uh, in this miracle today, we are introduced to a man that John calls a nobleman, which means a king. Yeah. Although we can, it can mean that he was a member of the royal family. Uh, the good news is when he heard that Jesus had come out of Judea yeah. into Galilee, he went running to ask him to come down and to heal his son. He, he said, my son is at the point of death, and Lord, I need you to come and heal my son. Now, can I suggest to us today, children, that when, when our need is great enough, we will cling to God as a man who's clinging to a rope who's drowning. It's very important to note today, church, that even, even though this man was a king, he, his rank, his wealth did not exempt him from the common sorrows of mankind. There's no home in which sickness or sorrow cannot enter. The, the, the writer C.S. Lewis, he said, God speaks to us in Our pain. It was a crisis in this man's life that led him into direct confidence in Jesus Christ. When we look at this nobleman and he finds Jesus, watch this. Now the nobleman, he requests to Jesus to immediately come with him to Capernaum to heal his son who is about to die. And the response of Jesus is in verse 48, which was surprising. Look what Jesus said. Jesus said unto him, unless you see signs and wonders, you will be by no means believed. Jesus is speaking to more than just this nobleman. Jesus is rebuking the attitude of of the crowd which had followed him along with the nobleman with the expectation.
expectation that he would be able to see a miracle. Here it was. They are very interesting in, in, in knowing and seeing what the miracles and the signs were. And, and the writer John tells us that, that the reader, that, that the miracle was a sign. And, and each of Jesus' miracles was significant in that each of the miracles, watch this, they all had a purpose. Can I tell you, it's no different today, church. Jesus is here. He's ready and waiting for us to put forth effort in making our requests. Listen, you got your pen and paper. Write down these two quick points. And we're going to be ready to serve communion today. Can, can I tell you, first of all, we must look at the sincerity of his request. The sincerity of his request. Look at what the nobleman said. He said, Jesus, sir, come down. Heal my child before he dies. Now listen today, church. If we're going to carry out the confidence we have in Jesus, then you got to understand that in life we will have to overcome some obstacles. That, 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 that's really what, what Job said in the book of Job when he faced obstacles in his life Job said though you slay me yet will I trust him Job said all the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come isn't it strange Reverend Taylor that, that many people today think that life should be always good and easy I believe today, church, that, that many people expect God to make life a flowery bed of ease. We, we don't think that we should have to put forth some effort and, and try to do, watch this, try to live right. Listen, I need to tell you today that God wants us to put forth effort because in life obstacles will come. Now listen, we've been going through an obstacle since March 16. Some of us thought we wasn't going to make it. Some of us had said this, this is it. I can't take no more. I, I've talked to people who've said to me, Pastor, I told the Lord, just take me. But look at your neighbor and tell them I'm still here. The question rises today, church, why didn't Jesus make it easy for the people to believe and receive a miracle. Why, why did Jesus allow obstacles to come in their way? Can, can I tell you today? It's because the Lord wants us to put forth some effort. See, a faith that requires no effort is a faith that's not worth having. Listen, children, there will become a time in all of our life when it looks like everything goes wrong. And we wonder why, why God does not help me out immediately. Well, why does God not answer my prayer before I get off my, my knees. It, it seems like the prayers that I pray are not going any higher than, than the 
feeling. It, it really makes me think that God is really not listening. Can I tell you today, children, it's times like this when we start to really wonder and think if God still loves me. Makes us think, it, is God really interested in my well-being? But I need to tell you today, children, all you got to do is push through. Talk to your neighbor and tell them, just push through. You got to push through those times because Luke 18 and 1 said, men ought always to pray and not faint. Don't, don't lose your hope. Don't, don't, don't give up on, on God because the good news is the same God that was working before the pandemic. He's still working now. Am I talking to anybody here that could testify? I've seen him work. I've seen him do it. I've seen him answer prayer. Y'all help me preach today and just tell one person just wait on God just got to wait on him oh thank you Holy Ghost let me tell you why you got to wait on him because the prophet Isaiah said but they that wait <laughs> upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings and eagles they shall run and not get weary they shall walk and not faint listen put on your preacher voice and tell your neighbor just wait on God wait on them children I've been preaching and prophesying that ever since this pandemic telling us just wait on him oh god i felt something just find you one more person you ain't got to touch him and look him in the face and said i told you wait on him oh god thank you wait 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 on him faith listen to me today children Faith takes some effort on our part. Listen, children, the Lord just does not hand us faith. <laughs> he, <laughs> thank you, son, for helping me preach. He, he challenges us. Watch this. When he asks us two things, believe and trust. He says to us that uh, whenever you make your request, yeah. you got to believe and you got to trust that I'm going to do it. Oh, yeah. See, a, a faith does not come to one, here it is, who sits down and gives up. Yeah. It comes to those who believe and are willing to persevere and push through your situation. Y'all help me prophesy that to your neighbor and tell him just push on through it. Listen, children, people who pursue God overcome obstacles and they are persistent in their pursuit. Listen, can I tell you, children, God honors persistence. He asks us to just be persistent and wait on him. For here it was, this father, this nobleman, expresses his faith. He says to him, just believe. He says, there is hope. Now listen, children, whenever Jesus expresses ah, to our request, we have to know that he has the power to help us. It's just like Mary and Martha when their brother Lazarus had died back in John chapter 11. When they said to Jesus, if you had been here our brother 
would not have died. It was limited in what uh, they believed Jesus could do. But this nobleman, he had enough faith to believe that Jesus could heal his son. We've looked at the sincerity of the request. But secondly, let's look at the Savior's response. Notice here the words of Jesus in verse 50. Jesus' words here are not intended to turn him away. But his words were to help him turn to Jesus in faith. Look what Jesus said to the Father. He said, go your way. Your son lives. Look at Jesus' words. He said, go your way. Your son lives. Okay, I'm back in church. Third time is a charm. Look at Jesus' words. He said, go your way. Your son lives. Now watch this. This is the good news of the text. Reverend Wallace, uh, the man believed his words. The man, <laughs> he took Jesus at his word. God help me preach today. The man believed what Jesus said, departed and went his way. Yeah. Listen, let me say this to us today, church. I love that. Yeah. Because it's a prime example to us. All we have to do is believe and take him at his word. Yeah. I know it. This man took Jesus at his word. He knew enough <laughs> about Jesus to trust him. Let me ask you, and I'm going to my seat. Do you know enough today about Jesus to shout, I trust him? Okay, I ain't got enough help yet. <laughs> Can you testify today I don't need nobody to tell me what he can do. I know enough about him today. Watch this. I don't even have to be in church to get happy. Just walking through the house and looking and seeing that I at least got some bacon, some eggs, and I got a little juice, and my water's still on, my air condition work, and I got a reasonable portion of helping strength. Listen, y'all help me and just talk to your neighbor and tell them I don't need your help because when I think of his goodness and all he done for me I can shout by myself I can dance by myself I can lift my hand because I've seen him do it so this man he takes Jesus at his word oh 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 Listen, the Holy Ghost just told me to tell those three people in this room today that's been going back and forth to the doctor that when you go back the next time, you're going to get a different report. I don't know who that's for. That, woo! Uh oh. Yeah, thank you. You got to take him. You got to take him at at his word. Matter of fact, if y'all don't mind, just look at your neighbor and tell him, thank God I've been healed. I've been, I, I've been healed. I, I, I've been healed. I've been, I've been healed. I've been healed. 
Notice this man, he believed and took Jesus at his word. This man had no reason to believe what Jesus said. But notice he believed without any props to help him in his faith. This man's dilemma was so important to him that when Jesus spoke the word without any evidence, he believed it would happen. Yeah. Let me ask you this morning, church. Can we trust Jesus today <laughs> without any evidence of what he say he gonna do? Can, can we really trust Jesus? Watch this. When it seemed like the bottom has fallen out. Can we re re really trust Jesus when it looks like everybody else is prospering and look like I'm failing? Let me tell you today, children, that whenever you trust Jesus, he has a way of rushing to your situation. <laughs> he, he's got a way of just, 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 just rushing and, and coming in and making everything work out for your good. This nobleman listened to the words that Jesus said. Notice this miracle had effects on this man. It simply proved, listen, children, that you can trust Jesus. <laughs> I wish I could put that a little simpler, but that, that's about as simple as I can go today and tell you, you can trust Jesus, okay? I ain't got enough help yet. I simply want you to know today, you can trust Jesus. Here it was, Jesus just spoke the word. And the Bible says, his son lived. Here it was, the son had, watch this, recovered instantly and completely. Now listen, children, we cannot suppose today that Jesus can only accomplish what we ask by doing it the way he prescribed it. But we must learn to trust Jesus and allow him enough room, watch this, to operate in whatever way he chooses. I realize today there are some people who have become bitter. They made a request to the Jesus we serve to be healed. They requested for help. And the Lord has not responded. Can I tell you today, you got to have faith that knows God can be trusted. But then you got to have faith that is contagious. You got to have enough faith that even in the face of death, you got to hope that Jesus would still hear and answer your cry. Because you know, Jesus gave a response to his urgent request. And we see that in faith, the Father obeyed and claimed the promise. So listen, children, let me thank y'all for coming today. As a result of this man's request, the Lord uh, answered and uh, the boy now has recovered and uh, the father's faith was now in his heart and all of his household 
who witness the healing. Faith is connected to every request that uh, we give to the Father. Because the text lets us know that when uh, the Father uh, arrived back home, he saw his son alive and healthy. And now, after he's seen uh, what the, the Lord uh, can do, his faith went to a whole new level. He not only placed his faith in uh, Jesus' ability to heal, but uh, he also placed his faith in Jesus as Lord uh, and Savior. And I really want to leave you when I tell you that nobody can do what Jesus can do. <laughs> let, let me give it to you again. Nobody, no one uh, uh, can do what Jesus can do. Because uh, even though we made it through this pandemic and things are getting better, we can be sure that uh, the Lord is still at work today. Why don't you talk to somebody and tell them the Lord is still at work. So whatever we ask him in faith, uh, Paul said that God uh, would supply all of uh, our, our needs. <laughs> so, so when we search throughout the uh, scripture, we see that the, the Lord, uh, he gives a response to every urgent request because uh, you remember Hezekiah he, he made a request to the Lord and the Lord gave him uh, an extension on his life they, David made a request to the Lord and the Lord forgave him of his sin Solomon gave a request to the Lord and the Lord gave him wisdom Daniel made a request to the Lord and he rescued him from, from the lion den. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they made a request to the Lord and he delivered them from, from the fiery furnace. Elijah made a request and the Lord in rain Joshua made a request and the Lord stopped the sun Hannah made a request and God gave her a child Rebecca made a request and the Lord gave him mercy the children of Israel they made a request and the Lord he opened up the Red Sea and they walked through on dry land I got to quit children but nobody can do what Jesus can do if y'all don't mind just talk to your neighbor and tell your neighbor nobody can do what Jesus can do cause he has answers for our agony he's a bomb for our burdens. He cures our calamities. He's deliverance from distress. He fixes all of our faults. He's grace for our gloom. He's healing for our hurt. He can identify with our infirmities. Come on boys, let's run. Oh, he's joy for the journey. He's a leader for the loss he's mercy for our misery only Jesus can answer our request he's provision for the poverty he's strength in weakness he's the forgiver of sin he's peace in confusion he's salvation 
for our sin. Jesus, he will hear and answer our request. That's what happened on Calvary when they took our Lord. Hug him on. And all I cross, God the Father, he had confidence that Jesus could meet the request. For they took him up and God said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. And they took him and they dragged him to 40 and two generations. <laughs> they took our Lord and put him on and all the way across. They put nails in his hand. They put rivets in his feet. They put a crown of thorns on his head. And they pierced him in his side. He died. Oh God. He he died. They put him down in a grave. He stayed in the grave. Oh, all night, Friday night, all day, long Saturday, all night, Saturday night, but early, early, early Sunday morning, he got up with I. All power in his hand. Is there anybody in here this morning? Don't mind testifying. I gave my request and he responded. And since he responded, my testimony is can't nobody do me like you. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Ain't he all right? I said, ain't he all right? If you know he's all right, shout it out. Shout it out. And urgent respond with an urgent request. Listen today, children. Listen, let me let me just prophesy to you. Yeah, and tell you. Yeah, and tell you this. Listen. Yeah. 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 Listen. Listen. Don't, ay, 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 ay. don't, oh God, thank you. Now listen, don't, don't, don't get discouraged. Uh, don't, don't give up if God has not responded. Don't, 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 don't think he's not going to, to respond. Listen, the, the, the Holy Ghost told me to tell you today, if you could just, Hold on. Uh, listen, this is the prophecy. He will show up. <laughs> he, he will. He'll thank you, Deshaun. He will. He will show. He'll he'll show up. Now this is the good news, children. When he shows up, he's gonna turn it around. He's going, he's going, he going to turn it. Oh, God, he's going to turn it around in your favor. Oh, yeah, yeah. M matter of fact, just, just talk to somebody and tell them, get ready for the turnaround. Get ready. 
Get ready. Oh, oh thank you. Listen. Listen. I, I only need 13 people jump up real quick and just turn around and then tell your neighbor, God, just turn it around. He just turn it. He just turn it. He just, he just turn it around. What, what, what the devil meant for that, God will. He'll turn it around for your good. If you believe he just turn it around, just start clapping your hand. Just start waving your hand and just tell him, thank you. Oh, thank you. Listen, children. Listen to that. Mm -hmm. Listen, listen, God. I, I don't know why I feel miracles in this room today. <laughs> Matter of fact, just look at your name and tell him I'm still a miracle. I'm still, I'm still a miracle. I, I may not have all I want, but thank God I got what I need. I'm, I'm still a miracle. Listen, listen today, children. We made it. <laughs> we, yeah, uh huh. We, 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 we. Woo, God, thank you. Glory, thank you. Oh, Jesus, thank you. We, we made it. We made it. We made it. Listen, we, we've all lost some loved ones. We lost some loved ones along this journey. But thank God we made it. Some of us, some of us even lost our job. But we made it. <laughs> or, or, almost lost our home, almost lost our car. But we made it. Listen, I... I only want those who could testify I made it to get up and turn around and tell somebody I made it, I made it, I made it, I made it, I made it. Mother Chubb, we made it, we made it. Mother Watson, we made it, we made it. We made it, Brother Brian, we made it. Reverend Baker, we made it, we made it. We made it, we made it. Come on, find you somebody and tell them I made it, I made it. I made it, I made it. I said, come on, I made it, I made it. I made it, I made it. Oh! Thank God we made it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
let me let, let me say this to us today. I thank God we made it. Because somebody in this room today, somebody looking at us over Facebook Live, can testify today, somebody here needs a blessing. Somebody here needs need a blessing. Somebody here needs a blessing. Oh, somebody here needs, needs God's word. Listen. Somebody here needs a miracle. Somebody here needs a miracle. Somebody here. Needs a miracle. Oh, somebody here needs, needs God's word. I am that somebody. I need a miracle. If that's you, just lift your hands. I am that somebody. Oh, I need a miracle. I am that somebody. I need a miracle. Yeah, I need. I need. God's word. Bless your invitation extend today. There may be someone looking, someone here today that wants to come give your life to Christ. Just come right where you are. Just come. Just come today. The Bible says all you have to do is just come, believe, and confess, and thou shalt be saved. Just come right where, right where you are today. If you're looking over Facebook, call us 773-994-5710 and confess, I want to accept Christ. Amen. God bless. Listen, let me see the hand of everyone saved today. You happy. Happy you're saved. Come on, just talk to your neighbor. Tell them I'm happy. I'm saved. I'm happy. Happy, happy, happy. God bless you today. We see there's none, but still there is room. God bless you all today. Listen, I'm so happy to see all of you all today. And certainly we pray blessings on all of your, of your lives on today. Let's prepare. Let's prepare uh, for our communion. Everyone should have your communion. Everyone should have your communion. Uh, if you don't, we have it at the back table. You can grab your communion on today. And thank you all so, so much. Listen, you all, it's, it's been a long time, but the Lord has kept us. The Lord has kept us, even though we were meeting on the parking lot. It's nothing like coming in the sanctuary where you can praise God and give him all the glory. Listen, we thank God for you today. Remember, see, we've been praying for Mother Watson, she's with us today. Been praying for her, her daughter. Uh, who has we been praying for this here today? Mother Watson and uh, Mother Chubbs is with us today. Amen. Mother Graham is with us today. Bless you, dear. Been praying for you. And certainly I've been praying for every member of our ministry. Sister Keisha Marvel, good to see you today. God bless you all. And listen, children, we're praying. As I said in the beginning, two of our members were in, involved in shootings. Uh, both of them called me. Matter of fact, one of them called me while the shooting was going on and said, Pastor, I'm in the washroom on the floor. She said, I, he said, I just need you to pray for me 
that I can get out of this building. And listen, they're here today. Y'all miss what I said. I said, they are here today. And we give God the glory on today. And then another one of our members was driving down the street. And there was a shooting and their car was hit. And the bullet went right over their head. And they're here today. All right, all right. Let me be quiet because y'all, y'all didn't catch what I said. <laughs> I said, both of them is here today. And don't have a scratch on them. Don't. <laughs> I said a bullet went right over their head and they're still here. Hiya, hey, glory. Woo! Still here. Still here today. Still here. Bless you today. God bless you all. The Lord bless you and keep you. Good to see my son, daughter, Reverend, and Sister Wallace, their family. Thank you all for being with us today and our sons, Reverend Taylor. Reverend Baker, God bless you all today. Listen, come on. Thank God for our first lady who's been blessing us all the way through the pandemic with words of encouragement, our praise team, our music ministry. Thank all of you so, so, so much. Uh, Let's get ready to serve our communion, and then after that, we'll get ready for dismissal or something I do want to share with you just as we're being dismissed. If you don't have communion, wave, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Everybody has it. Thank you. Let me thank our staff, uh, Sister Deborah and Sister Mary and Sister Carla Taylor, Reverend Baker being back there uh, helping us to get things in order. Thank you all so, so, so much. Let's get our scripture, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23, the word of God for the people of God. Lord, help me. I remember Deacon William would read this scripture every first Sunday. Oh, God. Mm. Mm-hmm. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner, he took the cup which he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do, you, this do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink of this cup of the Lord unworthily, shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself and let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many do sleep. I read 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 down to verse 30. The word of the Lord is already blessed. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, we thank you again for another opportunity, chance to come together as a church, as a family today. We Now we pray blessings on all who are here, those who are watching over Facebook Live. If we make, make ready to partake of your body and your blood, you told us to. You said, let a man examine himself. But God, we ask you to do a self-examination today over us. And if you find anything shouldn't be, we ask you to remove it now in the name of Jesus. Bless us now. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Let us get our our bread, our wine, a symbol of the body and the blood of Christ. Calvary, real Lord. Come on, let your minds go. To Calvary, Calvary, Lord. Calvary, oh Lord, Calvary, Lord, surely he died. Oh God, thank you for dying for us. On Calvary, 
holding the bread, which is a symbol of his body. The Bible said after Jesus had blessed it and break it, they did eat together. Let us eat together. Also with the blood, the wine, a symbol of his blood. They did drink together. Let us drink together. God, God bless you all. Listen, listen, hold your, hold your remains, and when you go out, you can throw them away. Uh, listen, let me thank you all again, church, so much. Uh, pray for us. Pray for us this week. Uh, I'll be sharing in our Baptist General State Convention. This is our year for voting for a new president, and actually, I'm over the voting process, so I'll be uh, giving the opening message on Tuesday. Uh, at the Double Tree in Downers Grove, Illinois. So I need you all to pray for me. Uh, it's open to anybody who wants to come. You just have to wear your mask and social distance. But if not, pray for me Tuesday morning, 11 o'clock. I'll be giving that word. And then Thursday, we will be having our election. So I need your prayers this week. And then this Saturday, all of this information is on the screen. The home going service for our member brother, Laron Watkins. His grandmother will be at Callahan, uh, wake from 10 to 10.30, service at 10.30 to 11. On this Saturday, uh, they're having a wake also Friday evening, I believe from four to six. So if you wanna stop by or if you can come meet us Saturday for that home going, home going celebration. God bless you all. Listen, I love you. I appreciate you and thank you all so, so much. Let me thank my daughter who's been our engineer for our Facebook Live. Thank you, baby. Thank you so, so much. What we're going to do, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dismiss us and I'm going to ask you all, uh, because we cannot socialize in the churches, that it's not that we're being mean or anything, but we do have to go by the guidelines that they have given us. I'm going to ask us, uh, let's stand, if everybody would stand, and we're going to start from the front. After I dismiss and go out row by row to the wall, your tithe and offering baskets are in the back. You can drop your tithe and offering and your love offering in the basket and go out those center doors. You got to go out the doors because once everybody is out, uh, we have to sanitize, sanitize the church again uh, on today. Thank you all so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. The Bible says after they have partaken of the body, wait a minute before we do that, listen. Listen, you all, today is a special day today. There's a special day. Today is my mother's birthday. Today is her birthday. We say happy birthday to my mother on today. Listen, I thank God my mother's still here. Hallelujah. <laughs> I thank God. Thank God. So we say happy birthday to her on, on today. The Bible said after they had partaken of the body and the blood of Christ, they marched through the garden singing a hymn. Everybody say. Starting from the front, just go out. Yeah. What, what a wonderful day we had today in praising the Lord and giving him the glory. Listen again, I want to just let you all know how much I appreciate you. Thank you all, those who are putting the hashtags on the bottom of the screen. I want to thank you all and those who are pushing me as I preach to share, to declare the word of God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And again, those who have been constantly and consistently of being a blessing to our ministry, I pray blessings on your life. You've been helping us giving through our Givelify, uh, through our Antioch Cash app, and through your mailing in your gifts to Antioch Baptist Church South, 6953 South Stewart, Chicago, Illinois, 60621. I say thank you, thank you, thank you. And again, I'll pray for you, you pray for me, and we're going to watch God change things. Have a blessed week until we meet again.